trust, of ignoring the needs of senior citizens and their campaign pledges, even though most Tory members are over 60. Writing in the Daily Telegraph, she lashed out at older people being unfairly branded bed and house blockers due to a lack of available social care and safe elderly housing. Issues that she says could be tackled by a dedicated politician. So Ranson wrote, why does neither candidate propose the appointment of a minister or at least a commissioner for older people whose job would be to prioritise older people's safety and welfare and make sure their voices are heard in Cabinet? But it hasn't gone down well with our very own Benjamin Butterworth, who furiously tweeted, over 50s have a stranglehold on how Britain is run at the direct expense of young people and reality. That's why we live in a country more bothered by bringing back pounds and ounces and allowing young people to have basics like their own home. Benjamin, do you stand by those comments? Because they seem very unfair to our greatest generation. I do, absolutely. Of course I do. It was only a few hours ago I wrote it. And the reason is because actually, you know, while there are lots of elderly people who will need help, especially in the coming year or two, and no one would dispute that, the generation in this country with the highest proportion living in poverty or acute poverty is the under 30s. You have more than 40 percent, 45 percent, in fact, of that age group who, if they live in private rented accommodation, live in poverty. You know, they have wages that have been stagnant for 15 years. They have private rents that are amounting to about half their disposable income. They have hundreds of pounds in tuition fees to pay. You know, the average graduate who earns 30K, which is a pretty typical income, you is paying... 42.5% tax rate. You know, that is absolutely crazy. And these are problems that were not there for the previous generations. And that's why you Can should I have a minister. Carol, for this young is making people. you mad. I'm, I'm beside myself. Previous <laughs> generations, you talk about graduates having problems. Previous generations were at work when they were 16 years old because they couldn't afford to go to university. Their parents couldn't afford to send them. Can't you're afford talking, it now. You're talking about people in rented car. Do you really think yours is the only generation that had problems paying bills? getting houses, living well. You know, people, you know, I, I get so tired of hearing this argument about young people can't afford to buy houses. Well, tough, actually, because my generation couldn't afford to buy them either. But the difference between us and them is we knew how to save. We didn't go clubbing. We didn't go to restaurants. We didn't buy luxury things. We didn't buy clothes every week. We saved. And I was living at a time when interest rates were 17%, thank you, when I had a mortgage, when I got my first mortgage. It nearly broke me. So please don't talk about older generations if like you, they haven't worked and like... And you know, but no one said that. Thing, Nobody the said the they hadn't that worked or that you didn't have to save. They said it's much harder like now. They shouldn't be. It's not much harder now. Well, let's look at the Young, facts. Let, let's, let's, look at the, let's look let's, at the facts. Let's look at the facts. Younger people have more freedom and independence than people of older generations. Young people have more educational opportunities now, both professional and how to make more money, than they used to have 45 years ago. You have choices in a way that older people 40 years ago did not have. And it really, and it happens when people say older people in their own homes, they should move out. They should. Houses. Oh my God. No, they should not. They no. worked damn hard to get those houses. They, How they, dare should, or they, say or they should, they should stop, sell or they their should... house that they worked yeah. hard to buy. And, and well, I, I don't know why, you. why should my taxes pay for them they, to, to have they, the social care when taxes? they could sell their house? What about the taxes they've paid all their, their lives life. to pay for yeah. you? Well, it's a complete farce to say that people, what they pay in is what they're taking out because the generation that are pensioners now take up oh, significantly we, more than them, they put should in. Should we just let them all die then, Ben? No, what should I'm saying is that when everyone is making sacrifices... die. When everyone is making sacrifices, that should include people having to cover the costs of some of their own care. But let's look if at the social facts. social care oh. just 25 better, years if this ago, government had treated older people better, if more money had been put into social care, they wouldn't be blocking... Okay, well, let, let me bring Belinda in first. Guys. Hold that thought. Let me bring Belinda. Belinda, you back in Benjamin, you back in Carol. No, I, I find this constant whining about, um, I'm entitled to own a house, I want to live in London and it's not fair, you I can't, no, let me, let me finish, right? No one, owned, no one owned a house when I was in my 20s or 30s, we all rented in the 90s and the 2000s, I don't know what your generation's going on about, yes it may be harder for you, but your rage is misplaced, stop vilifying our oh, elderly, really? this was the nice generation though. that grew up with parents who fought in the Second World War, they brought themselves up, resilient, <laughs> hard working, we all worked when we were 12, Rations. no one disputes that. We are 12. But what you, you are can't... a precious generation. You have absolutely no resilience to tough 
hard work. I was working that- three jobs. I was on baked beans every day because I wanted to live in London, and so I sacrificed that. Now it's like you yep, feel like you too. have a right to well, live in London. It's, it's extraordinary that, that people that, that feel that they are entitled to a house then look at the next generation no, and say, "You're not." I never no, felt no, I was no, entitled no, no, to a house. Entitled. The fact you is, you just worked hard and saved yeah, hard enough is, to buy one. The fact, I mean, you know, do the maths of how if someone lives in the city of London, which is where London, where lots of people that are aspirational and working incredibly hard do, you know, if you want to buy a 400k flat, which is a lot of money, but of and course, the it's central London. Yeah, but it's not so don't central live in London. London. You, you definitely don't get that in central London. You don't but have But let me to tell you, hang on, hang on. Hang, you can no, commute. Hang on, I'm, I'm not saying, that's a lot of money, I'm not disputing it. I'm saying that's the cost that, that you have to bear to get you a basic to live flat. In London. So if you earn 30k, you're paying 42% in tax after income tax, national insurance and your tuition fees. Then you've got, you know, the basic cost of living. You've got a third to a half going but, on rent. But, but How do those this? people get on the housing ladder? You're talking about university and tuition fees. 30, you don't have a choice in doing that. 40 years so Benjamin, ago, what people I, did not get the chance to go to university. What I think, what I think Benjamin was, it impossible what, to get what I think was quite young unfair, people. Benjamin, though, with, with your tweet, is that you were saying that older people shouldn't have someone in government representing them. What I'm saying is that if you're looking at a generation that is being hard done by, that is being badly <laughs> treated by the tax system, that has a lack of financial freedom and safety, Look at the that elderly. is the younger generation. Look at the elderly. So, when, so, so you've, 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 exactly you've, you've got pensioners who served in World War Two and few. are currently having to turn off their television sets because they now have to pay the disgraceful BBC licence fee in a that face with by the direct choice, government, you as well you know. Kendra, yes. No, it wasn't. It was a choice by the BBC because no, they nonsense. prioritize where they put their money. Do, do you know the, the Conservative government took the money away. But, but look, no one is pitting them against each other. Benjamin, what you're saying you is exactly what you, what you did. Want a priority, then it's That's the young exactly people that are struggling the most. You know that there is a hatred for our elderly that started with the Brexit year 2016, we've all been vilifying them. Oh, hang on. But listen, the hypocrisy of it. You've got this generation complaining about housing, right? And yet it's These the young people like, that care more about finish. golf courses than okay. young people having okay. housing. So I've got a point, Carol. I've got the point because it's really important to make. It's the lib left who are like, love has no borders, open borders, mass immigration, pro EU, and then you complain about a supply of housing. It's your lot that want more people in here when we haven't well, got the infrastructure. Me, why actually, do we have a country full you... of older people who won't let new homes be built because they're nimby, saying not in my backyard? They'd rather have vast golf courses than houses for young people. That's oh, the hatred of the things you've been aged. This country is now ages. People like you. In 2020, there was a report that said exactly that. And it's a form of discrimination that we don't actually talk about. A report in 2020 said older people were seen as incompetent, hostile, and a burden on others. And that's exactly what you've just discussed. It's not at all. And it's, when you it's, have... it's a discrimination as bad as racism. I agree. Well, I mean, look, it nearly is. half of young people who live in private rented accommodation, 45% of them are below the poverty line, according to research. Well, Carol says you'll be aged. Bad. Carol, wait, Carol's accused you of ageism here. Well, clearly it's not ageist. Well, you it know, is why, ageist. Do, why don't you understand that why when you have a generation you? of people that think that you should pay 50 grand in tuition fees, that you shouldn't be able to why buy a house, you that you should be paying a there fortune are two million, in rent? There are two million pensioners living on nothing but the state pension alone. Okay. Do you know how much that is a week? Do you have any idea how much I that think is it's a something week? like 70 quid a week. No. No, it's not. It's 200 quid a week. But they have, that's what, it's, it's about 157. And I'm thinking of unemployment. So, so, but, I'm not, no, but I'm talking about a pension. That's how, how much they live on. More in a week right, than you yeah. get paid. But okay, hang final on, word, Benjamin. But that, final word. Word. that makes my point for it, because there are more people on that income under 30 than over 65. Stop blaming people the elderly. Under 30 Why can't can you accept and, that? People under 30 can go and earn more money. Yeah, they don't have to go to They can't, they because can your generation voted cannot. for Brexit and stuffed the economy. Oh, <laughs> oh God, here we go. <laughs> Just lost the plot. Okay.